Hello, this is Johnny. It's Tuesday, July 11th, exactly one week after uh, our holiday, July 4th. I hope everybody had a nice 4th. Yeah, I certainly did. But in any case, uh, today I'd like to speak to you about one of the more misunderstood facets of selling a property in Hawaii, which is the uh, HARPTA withholding. And essentially what that means is if you are not a Hawaii resident and you aren't eligible for several mitigating factors, at closing, the escrow company sends to the Hawaii tax office 7.25% of the gross sales price. So if you take like a $3 million transaction, that's $225,000. Now, a lot of people think that that's an additional tax. It's not. It's just a withholding. If you, uh, if you make money on the transaction, you're going to have to pay capital gains unless you're a Hawaii resident and it's your principal residence. If it's a second home, you're going to have to pay it. <clears throat> but obviously, uh, you know, it depends on how much money you're making, but in many cases, the withholding is higher than what you're going to end up with after all the closing costs and what you paid for the property originally. But it is not an additional tax, it's withholding. And you're going to be responsible for both federal and state of Hawaii capital gains at, the, at closing, which the, the maximum rate is 7.25%. So anyway, a, a lot of people uh, that are from out of state kind of misunderstand that, as I said, thinking it is an additional tax, it's not. Uh, you can get it back if you do have to pay it. There's two different ways. There's a form that's kind of a mini tax return that you can file. It's called an N-288C form here in the state of Hawaii. And normally you can get, get the difference between the withholding and what your actual capital gains taxes are in about 90 days. Uh, the other way to do it is to wait until you file your state tax returns, and sometimes it could even be advantageous to do that for various reasons, but it depends on the, on the time of the year that you have your actual closing. If you have your closing very close to the, you know, to the end of the tax year, sometimes it's better to do that. Now, there's several ways to get out of the uh, withholding. One is to be a, a Hawaii resident. And on a number of occasions, I've had my clients actually uh, convey their property into an LLC domiciled in Hawaii with more than one member. And that makes you a, a Hawaii resident. Uh, the other way to get out of it is to do a 1031 exchange. Those are all uh, excluded from HARPTA. Uh, also, if your mortgage if, if at the end of the sale, the check you're going to get for your property isn't enough to pay off your mortgage, then you're also not subject to HARPTA. So there's all kinds of uh, kind of subtleties to this. Uh, when you do file the, for example, the uh, N-288C or, or the N-288B, which is the, the actual form if you're going to try and be exempt from HARPTA, uh, there are several, quest there are several uh, tricks about doing this kind of pretty simple. I mean, you know, number one, fill it out with a blue pen because I've had um, uh, applications rejected because they thought they weren't uh, original signatures. In other words, people uh, filled it out with a black pen. Uh, also, it's a good idea to FedEx it to the, to the tax office in Hilo, call them after a couple days and ask them if uh, they've received it, who it's been assigned to, and then talk to that person and see if they need any additional information or, or whatever. I used to do this for all my transactions up until about, I don't know, five or six years ago. I would get a power of attorney where I could speak to the tax office. Now I can't do that because I'm not an accountant and I'm not an attorney. Uh, so probably one of the most interesting transactions I've done with regard to, to HARPTA was it was a couple of million dollar deal here 
in Hawaii and I represented the buyer and the seller and the seller attempted to become exempt from the uh, from the harp to withholding it was you know a couple million dollar deal and basically he would have had to come up with some money to close because he had a large uh, mortgage and he and he showed by the time you add back in depreciation to show on and so on he actually showed a you know a capital gain and so at that time I just happened to know the chair of the Republican Party of Hawaii and I called him up because we were at a, at a standstill and he says oh yeah I can help you and gave me a bunch of numbers to call and I kept on calling him. I finally ended up talking to the uh, top political appointee in, in uh, Honolulu for the tax office and they helped me out. I got the uh, withholding reduced to the actual capital gain which reduced the, uh, <coughs> it's the only time when I've been able to do it, but anyway, it reduced the withholding from like 115000 to 120000 to 15000 which my client had those funds to contribute to the, to the pot, and we closed the deal. So, anyway, uh, I've done many, many of these, and I've become, <laughs> become pretty good at it, and... Uh, and, and I strongly urge you to, uh, when, you, when you pick a, an agent here in Hawaii, to, have, to get one that is uh, familiar with the Hawaii tax office and what it takes with regard to the Harper. Okay, I hope everybody has a good day, and I'll talk to you later.